So you're considering a career in general practice, also known as family medicine. I get asked commonly about general practice training, how do I become a GP? Hi, my name is Dr. Owen. I help high formers great habits to lead a happy and successful life. In this video, I'll share with you the benefits of GP training and the benefits of working in general practice. The beauty of general practice is a variety of cases that you get to see. You will see children, you will see adults, you will see elderly patients. It's a variety that you see that makes general practice particularly interesting. Let me give you a working example. The last time I did clinic, I had a very wide variety of cases. So I saw a young girl who came in with skin problems, who had eczema. I saw another patient who was in his 40s and struggled with mental health problems, with depression. I took the time to listen to his problems and help him guide him in managing his mental health and helping that person to get through a very difficult patch where he's feeling very lonely and does not have much help. The next patient I saw was an elderly woman who presented with chest pain. So this was a more acute presentation. So I had to get the patient to have an ECG. I took a focused history, examined the patient, ruled out any life-threatening cause of this chest pain, such as myocardial infarction, known as heart attack, or pulmonary embolism, which is a clot in the lungs. So you see the varieties of cases that we see in general practice that keeps things interesting. If you want to become a GP, the length of training is also short. It takes only three years of full-time training to become a GP. Whereas in other specialties such as cardiology or surgery, you will spend at least seven to eight years to fully qualify and have your CCT. So GP training is a short training and if you've chosen a specialty and you don't enjoy working that specialty, you could retrain in GP training and it will take you three years. Securing a post in GP training is not very difficult as the competition ratio is not high compared to other specialties. Here you can see the competitive ratio in different locations. London is one of the most competitive areas while training posts outside of London are less competitive. The good news is that you will stay in the same location for the duration of your training. So there are geographical areas where there's difficulty in recruitment for GP training. So the government has put in place this golden handshake, which is an incentive to attract more trainees in these areas. So you will get £20,000 if you go and work in these areas. £20,000 is quite a lot of money. If you're planning to buy a house, you can put that money towards a down payment. And if you want to buy a car, you could use that money as well. So if you're planning to go into GP training, then know that there is this golden handshake depending on which area you work into. The golden handshake comes under the targeted enhanced recruitment scheme. As you can see on GP recruitment website, the specific locations where a GP trainee who apply would be eligible for this £20,000 payment. I suggest you have a read on the GP recruitment website to know the implications of this golden handshake. This scheme is also applicable in some areas of Scotland. In Wales, there is a universal incentive that the Welsh Government has put in place so trainees can have their first attempt at applied knowledge tests and clinical skills assessment fee paid. If you're interested to apply in Wales, I suggest you read this section where you'll have more information. Another aspect of general practice is preventative medicine where you take the time to actually educate your patient and explain to them the lifestyle choices that they make that will impact their life in the long term. So you help your patient to live a healthy life that will prevent them from developing any problems in the future. So this is where lifestyle medicine is very relevant and 
when you do this lifestyle changes in patients life you're actually saving their life in slow motion so this is the great thing about general practice you can impact the patient's life in the long term so you don't need to wait for a crisis for the patient to have a severe condition before you can actually help them so you can prevent that from happening in the first place another aspect of general practice is the autonomy that you have compared to hospital doctors when you work in general practice when you become a family doctor you can actually choose what sessions you want to work and you can actually have more control on the working days the working times and you can actually decide when you want to work and when you don't want to work whereas if you're working in hospital you don't have any say on this and you just roster on a rota and you get the rota and you find out that oh you're working on that weekend you're working night in that week so it's very difficult to have a good work-life balance if you're roasted on calls and you don't actually have any say in that whereas in general practice you don't have this constraint a common question I get asked is what's the salary of a GP? So the salary of a GP will vary. If you're working as a salary GP or as a locum GP or as a GP partner, you will have different salaries. On average, a salary GP working full time will earn at least 58,000 pounds per year. Whereas a GP partner will earn around 100,000 pounds per year. So when you become a salary GP, you have your sessions and you focus on the clinical duties of general practice. When you become a GP partner, you work as a GP and you also have other responsibilities to run your practice and you have other business responsibilities. You're involved in the leadership and management of your practice and in the day-to-day -day running of the business so you're rewarded for that extra responsibility that you take as a GP partner. As a locum GP you work as a freelancer so you actually have to negotiate your rate and then you will go working in different practices and you get paid for the session that you have worked. So the rate will vary according to geographical area and demand and supply in that area. Each type of work has its pros and cons. I know GP who started as salary GP, went into partnership, became a GP partner and then left partnership and started working as a locum GP. So there's pros and cons, it depends at what stage of your life you are and what the things that will be more convenient for you. A career in general practice has got many benefits but I want to make sure that you know that there's also challenges with GP training and as any other specialties there is challenges working in general practice. If you'd like me to make a video about these challenges let me know in the comment section and I'll make a video. I hope you find this video useful. If you have not already subscribed to this channel don't forget to subscribe. Take care everybody. Bye bye.